Learn your hotkeys. The best advice I could give anyone to becoming a pro builder for Planet Zoo is to learn your hotkeys. This is the quickest way to build up your skills on how to become a great builder. Efficiency is the name of the game when it comes to building in Planet Zoo. You don't want to spend your time diddling around when you could be building some of the best damn things you've ever made in your entire life. If you're constantly fiddling with buttons, constantly clicking things on the tab on the side, you're gonna end up eating out your own time, and really when all things are said and done, that's time that you could spend actually building. Welcome everyone to a quick little video, hopefully it doesn't go too long, but I wanted to sit down with you guys and kind of teach you guys how you guys can become quicker builders, better builders, and more efficient builders in Planet Zoo and Planet Coaster by proxy. I have many people oftentimes asking me how I become such a good builder, if there's any, like, classes I took. Well, welcome to lesson number one. It's gonna be learning your hotkeys, everyone. Now, what hotkeys are, are essentially shortcuts on your keyboard, which you can activate with a click of a button. We're just gonna go through these today and kinda talk about their advantages and how you guys can actually use them. If you guys do have Planet Zoo open, which I recommend you guys do as you watch this video, I really recommend you guys check out the controls tab of your settings, as you can follow along and see what works best for your keyboard and for your personal hands, I guess. The first hotkey on our agenda is the Align to Surface key. This is going to be V on your standard keyboard. Now, aligning an item to the surface is always a really awesome thing to do, especially when you want to orient something the right way. Learning how to use this key is going to be one of the best ways that you can really step up your game and create a lot more organic looking positions of objects in your game. Even beyond that, this tool is especially useful when it comes to aligning to a certain rotation on a certain surface, then unsticking that key by clicking V once more, and then moving it somewhere else. Take for example, the tropical rock over here. Now if I want it to be placed against the wall kind of like this, then that is perfect. I just click V, and then it just sticks like that. Now if I want it to be the other way around, I can simply hover it over to this surface over here, click V once more, and then move it over there so that it retains its original position as it was against the wall, but now you're moving it against a different surface, and you can create a whole wide variety of different ways that you can orient this rock now. It's extremely useful to creating a lot more unique looking rock formations and even plant formations as well if you are going to mess with that stuff. Moving on from there, we are going to learn how to rotate items easily. Now, I'm sure a lot of you already have this trick down, but it's always good just to reiterate. The Z key is what you're looking for over here. And the Z key works exceptionally well once you pair it with the space key. This gives us angle snap. And as you can see, angle snap does incremental rotations of around anywhere from 15 degrees to 45 degrees. And it essentially allows you to create a lot more dynamic and a lot more accurate rotations. So say for example, if you are hoping to have, let's just say, I don't know, one meter wood panel. And if you are trying to create something that needs to be very, very precise, you can turn on angle snap as it already is over here with the space bar. You could see it kind of like activates and reactivates over there and then turn it incrementally every so often. And then by doing that, you are able to create these lovely little rotations and keep it very accurate to what angles really are in the game. You know what I mean? I hope you guys know what I mean. Our next hotkeys concern paths. Now, paths are a really awesome way to bring a new dynamic energy to your game. And once you learn the hotkeys, you can start to create some very awesome looking paths. So say, for example, if we take a trip over here, we can actually look over here and see that we can edit paths so much more than you think. So moving over here, I am using the open and close brackets to create larger or smaller paths. Now, if you don't have free build, you can only go down to four meters, but you can go up to 10 meters if you're working with base game Planet Zoo. 
So you can incrementally increase these every so often, which is going to lead for some very interesting looking things. Uh, beyond that, you also have the length option, which allows you to create longer segments of path. I'm doing that by clicking the plus or the minus button to create larger or smaller path sections. This is going to be very useful if you're working with long pathways or if you're just trying to connect a keeper hut up to somewhere else. The next tip I'm going to give you all is the undo and redo buttons. I know so many of us are already accustomed to them as they are naturally found in computers, but Control Z and Control Y are what gives us undo and redo specifically. So say for example, I have this beautiful zoo and I accidentally delete a large chunk of it. And I get that little button. Sure, let's say yes. Now, if I wanna undo that, I simply go Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. It takes a bit sometimes, but eventually you get it to work. And it looks just as it did before. It's really as simple as that, and it's just so awesome just to be able to do something like that. But that's all I have for us today. Maybe I'll do a little bit more of an advanced one later down the line, but those are the ones that I use in my everyday Planet Zoo life. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. If you guys do want more little kind of quick tricks or something like that, please reach out and comment down below and let me know what you guys would be interested in. I always do love to see people who just say that my videos help them build better and I really want to make sure that I'm helping everyone learn how to build the best that they can in Planet Zoo. So thank you all so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. And I can't wait to see you all in the next video. Take care and have the most wonderful of wonderful days. Goodbye now.